And police are dealing with a possible threat to East Sandy Elementary School this morning. Because of that, extra police will be on hand at East Sandy Elementary and students will be in a shelter in place. Canyon School District sent out messages to parents yesterday warning about the threat. ABC4's Jason Wynn is there. Jason, what does this all mean for parents this morning? Well, we brought in the Canyon School District, Jeff Haney, to talk about this this morning because this is a rather important issue that you guys are dealing with. Tell us about the shelter in place and why you put it there today. Right. You know, we haven't enacted the safety precautions at East Sandy Elementary this morning because of a message that we had received over the weekend. And the message could be construed as a threat. And we immediately forwarded that message on to, our, uh, to the police department, and they are doing an investigation. So this morning, East Sandy Elementary School will be in shelter in place status. And what that means is all of the perimeter doors will be locked and anyone who is granted access will be granted on a one by one basis through the front doors. And we're doing so because the safety of students is our number one priority. And while police are investigating, we will have these security measures in place. Do you know where the threat may have came from or, you know, why it was towards the school? Right, so police are investigating where the message came from, but I can tell you it came in the form of an email, and it was uh, sent directly to an employee who is, um, who is, you know, here at the school every single day. And, you know, it was targeted directly at this school, and it was identified uh, that the uh, damage could occur here on Monday. So, you know, while it was quite specific, directed at a specific employee and directed at a time, and that's when we knew we had to act quickly to enact our security po protocols and make sure that our parents were aware that we'd received this message and when the when the students were arrived at school today that they'd see that additional police presence. Yeah, and we know they're going to be here, but also the students won't be allowed outside throughout the day. Then. Correct. Uh, during the shelter-in-place status is when the children and the teachers and all of their staff remain safe inside the school. And so for recesses and for lunch breaks, they'll be inside the school. Now, learning will go on as usual throughout the day inside the school. It's just that outside of the school, no one will be allowed on the playground and no one will be allowed inside the building unless they go through the front doors and granted access by the people who are at the front doors. Jeff, what happens if a parent is watching this? They receive the email over the weekend, but they're still unsure if they're going to send their child to school or not? Or are they okay to leave their kids at home and, and call in and tell the school about that? That's a good question. I'm glad that you asked. That was one of the reasons we alerted the parents last night through a robocall and through an email. You know, police are investigating this message and we can't tell them right now whether or not it's credible because the investigation just started. But that said, you know, parents can decide what's best for their families. Uh, we sent the message early enough last night that they could have a family discussion throughout the night and decide for themselves if they wanted to have their children at school today. But I can tell you, we feel safe that a school will be a good place for kids today. There will be a lot of extra police presence here today, extra administrators from the Canyon School District, and crisis counselors in case students are feeling anxious or worried or other difficult emotions. So school will go on. It will be a very safe place, but parents can make a decision for what's best for themselves. All right. Jeff, thank you for your time this morning. I know it's bright and early for you. Um, and, and as again, police are, we have seen several police cars drive by this morning since we have been here. So we know that police are going to be on standby around the school district. We'll continue to follow this and we'll bring you the latest updates in the next half an hour. I'm Jason Wynn, live in Sandy, ABC4 News.